Okay, straight up. Okay. This arrangement seems to meet our deepest human needs for both love and companionship. For someone with whom we can share in an intimate and a trusting way, it will not create a relationship that does not already exist. And the two of you are well on your way, you have the two things that you need to stay. Now, Sean and Rosalinda had the opportunity to choose a couple of readings. We'll listen. Through the winning, losing, and trying, will be the I will be here. I will be here, and you can cry on my shoulder when the mirror tells us I will be here. Now the second reading, but rejoices in truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes. Always perseveres. Love never fails. You've chosen Sean to be your husband. Will you love and respect Sean? Will you be honest with him at all times? And will you stand by him through whatever may come? If so, in a clear voice, will you simply respond, I will. And they didn't hear you in the back row. I will. Now they heard. Thank you. Giving now your blessing and your support, wishing them a truly wonderful life together. If so, please respond together. We do. We do. Good. As Sean and Rosalinda pledge themselves to each other, help them and bless them. That their love may be pure and their vows may be true. To be my wife, my partner in life, my partner in life, and my one true love, and my one true love. I will cherish our marriage, I will cherish our marriage, and love you more each day, and love you more each day. I will trust you and respect you, I will trust you and respect you, protect you and comfort you, protect you and comfort you. Laugh with you and cry with you. Laugh with you and cry with you. I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully. Through good times and bad.
Please repeat after me and make sure that you're heard by this microphone. Okay. Rosa, I'm sorry, in the presence of God. In the presence of God. And before our family and friends. And laugh with you and cry with you. I will love you faithfully. I will love you faithfully. Through good times and bad. Through good times and bad. Regardless of the obstacles. Regardless of the obstacles. We may face together. We may face together. I give you my hand and my heart. I give you my hand and my heart. All my love. And all my love. From this day forward. From this day forward. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Rings, I believe. I have to bring this play this. That you may wear it as a symbol of the vows we have made this day. I pledge you my love and respect, my laughter and my tears. With all that I am, I honor you.
but no one in this room, like the quote, is without sin. Okay? Everyone is imperfect, including you, Sean. <laughs> but my friend Rosie is a phenomenal woman. And I say she's a phenomenal woman because I met Rosie when she was 22, just as beautiful as she is today. And over the course of 20 something years, I have seen Rosie gone through many dark places, many challenging things in her life. But at, in the end, she always find somehow in any dark spot the light and overcome even with her kids. I remember Rosie was so fearful to drive but she got the courage to drive and bought a car because she's phenomenal and she always support her kids no matter what. She's a phenomenal friend, a phenomenal sister, Mother, you're just phenomenal, Rosie. But as I started, and I said, no one is without sin, and no one is perfect. And Rosie, as you embark on your journey with Sean, who I'm quite sure is phenomenal, but I don't know you that well, Sean, but I'm going to say this is Rosie, and she's phenomenal, so she would have chosen you, who is phenomenal. As you embark on your journey, Remember that Rosie's not perfect, and Sean's not perfect, but Rosie, communicate, compromise, and be patient, and everything will work out in the end. And Sean, I say the same to you. Compromise, communicate, and everything will work out in the end. So I wish you all the best, and a cheer to Rose and Sean. She pointed at me 
<laughs> so I thought, this is good. So I quickly ended the dance and walked over and took her by the hand. And, uh, and we would say the rest is history. But um, she wouldn't give me her phone number. So I said, this is going to be awkward. Because how am I going to get in touch with you? And she said, why do you want to get in touch with me? I said, well, I'd like to see you. And where's Myrna? Myrna uh, came to rescue her sister. They thought I was crazy. They said, that's <laughs> true, you remember that, isn't it? They said, do you talk too much, you like her? I said, oh, I do, yeah. And they said, yeah, what are you doing? You're going to do this in Canada. You need to be polite and listen and quiet. I said, well, I'm going to be me. And Myrna, Myrna protected Rose. She said, she's my sister. Uh, um, you, you can't talk to her, you can't dance to her. Um, and I said, I will marry this girl um, within one year. She said, are you crazy? That's absolutely crazy. So life is about relationship. I'm so happy I've come to Canada to find what I was looking for. And I would encourage you, wherever you are in your life, with relationships, do what you can to, to celebrate the good. This life is fleeting, it passes you by. So, so we do a toast to the beautiful bridesmaids. To the bridesmaids. To the bridesmaids. To the bridesmaids. Enjoy life. There's one other thing I've got to do. Got to have a kid. A glass? Yeah, go on. There we go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Dr. Siri really does enjoy glass. But I, I, I've just realised I'm meant to thank. There's so many people to thank, but um, particularly uh, Abby. I really want to thank you and Myrna for, for doing this. <laughs> And Joy, I don't know where Joy's gone. Thank you for organising the session. Where's Maxine? Maxine. Where has he gone? We haven't left him at home again. He's here. We, where's he gone? We've lost him already. You want to wave? We want to thank you for coming. We waited a long time for you. Thank you for coming, for those who are at the service. And I want to thank, um, we've lost Mum. Here, here, we move. Thank you, Mum, for coming from the Philippines. We're really honoured to have you here. And uh, thank you, Dad, for coming from the UK. We're really honoured to have you here. I want to thank Daniel, coming from the UK. There's a load of uh, some of the scent guys came in earlier. I don't know where they've gone. They've gone out again. Is John there? No? So thank you. And people have come. And we want to thank you. Enjoy your life. Focus more on the good than the bad and try and avoid the ugly. So God bless you. So, I and now we'd like to um, invite the best man, Daniel, to make a presentation. Oh, <laughs> I just want to thank you all for coming to celebrate this special occasion with Sean and the family. I also want to thank Sean. It's a privilege and an honor to be chosen as the best. Thank you, Sean. Sean is a great man. Sean, thank you for being a stable force in my life. You are a friend and a brother. This man changed my destiny. When I graduated in 2004, he employed me, he trained me. And since then, my life has never been the same. I've never been out of job. He put a lot of things through me. Sean is a man with a large heart. He enjoys building teams and enjoys 
the challenges that come with it. He's a great man. And I know you will not fail your generation. He's loaded with knowledge. He's one of the finest SNC level and system assurance engineer, uh, director I've come to know. Thank you. Sean, there is one thing I want to tell you. We don't marry the person we want to live with. But we marry the person we can't live without. And I see tonight you and Rose are perfect example of that. Rose, you look stunning. You are a great woman. I saw a lot in you the Malaysia time I've spent in Ottawa. And especially the last dinner we had yesterday, Daddy. It was great. So, Sean, thank you so much. Another thing. In every aspect of life, and in every aspect of marriage, and in every aspect of your profession, and in every aspect of whatever you do in life, remember that in your journey with your newly wife, always try to spice it up. When you are too comfortable with the existing environment, by doing little hugs, you know, holidays, change the environment. We sometimes change the beds, change the pillows, you know, a cup of tea in the morning. It reinvents marriages. One of the things that goes on in marriages, marriages are in a big of uh, a state that is a bit fragmented now because of one thing. Spices up. Always try to appreciate for the good and a good humor, a, a sense of good, a good humor when things are going bad. So when Rose is giving you uh 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 uh, you do all that is good. When Sean is not giving you Rose uh uh uh, you do what is right. Thank you so much. You are a great man. I repeat, you will not feel your generation. So with a toast, this is the proper tools. Sean will give you long life in every aspect of your life. From today, we ask that your, the years to come be full of joy, longevity, good health, money, success, many houses, and many children if you want more. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, is there, if there's anyone else who would like to come up and, and make a presentation, um, please feel free to do so at this time. The mic is now open. Congratulations. And then Chen, Shark. Welcome to back to the family. That you found the love of your life. I have known Rose only for about 23 years. Before you were born and before you were born. When Rose first came into our life, she was a little girl, a very small girl, who always smiled. And the, the best thing she has is her teeth. <laughs> I think every, every patient who walks into our clinic wants to see Rose's teeth. 
they think that she has the best teeth in the world. And I, 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 I think everyone here agrees that she has the most beautiful smile and she can melt any heart. Rose has not been very easy to live with. I think everyone will agree with that. We've had our, 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 our times. Times when we have been happy and times when I was looking for a place where I could put her and lock her in forever. <laughs> you were asking me? The mother is asking me why. <laughs> I think I spent more time with her than you have. <laughs> Overall, Rose is a wonderful person when she's in good mood. You don't want to cross Rose when she's not in good mood. Even I am afraid. Sometimes my other staff asks me, how can you take her? <laughs> There's only one word. Rose by any other name is always going to be Rose. So I love you. I hope you have a wonderful uh, life together with Sean. And Sean, that glass of wine is still half full. So make good of it. Good luck to you all. I think I should say something about what he said. <laughs> he I need to defend myself. I thought he's not my boss. I thought he's just someone I know. boss. <laughs> like, I don't like what you're saying. I don't agree with you. This is my way. I want my way. It's either my way or no way. <laughs> yes. Um, please to my bosses, Marina. Oh my gosh. You're amazing. Professor, you're amazing. Claudia, thank you so much for being here for me. Even though you're in Toronto, and I'm here in Ottawa, woman, when I <laughs> need someone to talk to, when I need to crumble and I don't know what to do, you are the woman I need to call because I know you understand me, you know me from inside out. <laughs> but yeah, you're the best. You are the light in my world. <laughs> I learned so much from you. I, you have no idea. I learned so much from you. I think that's not just being a best friend, also with what you went through, we went through together, we went, we went through so much together. And you have a brain. <laughs> yes, from psychologist, psychology to IT, that's like amazing. <laughs> yes, you are the best. Marina. Thank you so much, Dr. Strashek Suri, my boss. My boss, Dr. Strashek, oh my gosh. You really put up with me sometimes. You know when I'm not in a good mood and I'm a bit bitchy sometimes and you just accept the way I am and love me the way I am and still proud of me and introduce me to everyone. It's just, I'm really grateful for you. Other, you are the first person I met. Yes. Claudia, you're the second, unfortunately, but you are not. We met in August. I met her in June. <laughs> the same year. <laughs> yes. When 
internet. Thank you so much for, the, for putting up with me, giving me advice, loving me. You guys are the best. We've been through so much together. We've known so much each other. You still love me, and I love you. And you accept me. I love you, Monette. You had our ups and down, but we passed you. My mom, she had a hard life. I didn't know it before. I rejected her because I thought she left me, she abandoned me. But I didn't know what happened in the past. I was 11 months old. I didn't know, I didn't meet her until I was 10. It carried so much pain in my heart. Growing up without mother, when my father was beating me up with his belt, and I have no mother to cry to, I have no mother to call to, it was hard. I became, but it made me strong. It made me strong. It made me where I am right now. But she loves me. And she never stopped thinking of us, the three of us. She loves me, but she doesn't know what to do. Mom, thank you for carrying me for nine months in your belly. You could have given up and taken me out of your body, but you didn't. And when you knew that the three of us were in good hands with our grandparents mm -hmm. and you knew that there's nothing you can do not to put up with our father and you left because that's the best for all of us and now I understand that I accepted that and I love you thank you thank you dad thank you for accepting me Bill Derry, Mr. Derry, thank you for accepting me and welcoming me in your family, especially Mom, Margaret. When we talked last year, you guys were so pleasant. And I felt the love you've given me. And I know I am accepted. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Pastor Daniel, Dr. Daniel, you had given me so much advice. I've learned so much from you from today since I met you in July. And thank you so much for that. And I will continue. I will continue learning and to be closer to God. And I feel blessed being with you, with me in my life. Thank you. Thank you everyone for coming here and uh, being here. Your presence is very important to me. Abby, your help to make this beautiful, this room beautiful, your effort. It's just, I, I, I don't know what to say. Just thank you. Thank you. Thank you everyone. This means so much to me and Sean. I love you all. Janet. Janet, I love you. I love you. My children, you're very supportive. You're very nice. You never had given me a hard time. Whenever I ask you to do, you do. Whenever I tell you to do, you do. You do as I command all the time. <laughs> Not always. <laughs> Not always. I also let you do what you want to do. But when I say, I like it when you listen and I appreciate it. And I love you. I love you, Nat. Where are you? <laughs> okay. Thank you, everyone, for being here.